I think a lot of people will have a pretty similar um, description of of the man who who Eamon Dolan was. Um, as a football player who played under him and and was seeing him every day, he, he was quite harsh um, on, on young players. Um, but I think he, he the role he had, he'd done really well. He, he'd put his arm around you when, it, when he could see you were a little bit down. Um, the standards were really high um, for players because he wanted the best for everybody. Um, and, and in football, that's just not the case. But he... He kind of wanted everybody to do well. Everybody wanted he wanted everybody to, to succeed. And um, that's the kind of man he wanted. He wanted it. He was. He wanted everybody to be to be really good and, and have a successful career. And I think if he was still here today, I think I'd still be able to pick up the phone now and, and spend an hour on the phone with him. And um, he'd still be kind of giving me um, a bit of criticism here and there, even though he probably wouldn't watch watch our games, right? And so, um, yeah, I, I owe an awful lot to to that man. When did you first meet him, and what were your first impressions of him? Um, I first, I actually, I actually first seen him um, in a game. In, in a game, I was playing for Bray Wanderers, and we played against Derry City away, um, and, and we lost a, a tight game. And I seen him standing there on his own in the lashings of rain, and. and a couple of weeks later, I went to see Reading, uh, Reading Football Club as a club to, to kind of meet the people there, and he was there. And I said, I remember seeing you in the in the Lash and Rain a couple of weeks ago in Derry. Um, so that was my first kind of um, meeting of, of him. And he, he was just kind of like a, he was a dad of two. Um, and he kind of just treated like all all the players underneath him as, as, as a dad, as a father figure. And, and a kind of head teacher kind of role. So that was that was the kind of relationship he had with, with pretty much everybody. He was the kind of first first person who I kind of had a had a strong relationship with in in professional football. Um, like I said, he he was quite harsh. He, his standards were high. He wanted wanted success from 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 every young player who who was coming through Reading Academy. Um, and whether I was there or not, I reckon I could still ask him for advice. I, st I still speak to some people from that club now, and if 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 Eamon Dolan was still here, it would be this, it would be pretty much the same. Um, I think he'd probably be ringing me more than I'd be ringing him. So um, that kind of shows what kind of person he was, and and more what the kind of the kind of legacy he's left. Can you think of any ways that he's shaped you as a person? Yeah, my, I think I think. On on the whole kind of club at, at the time at Reading, um, he kind of humbled the the academy. He humbled the the under 18s, the under 23s, and and all the kind of lads breaking into the first team. Um, he kept their feet on the ground when they were when they were having success. Um, he'd never let them get too high when it, when it was going well, and they would never let them get too low when it wasn't going so well. So. Um, I think that's kind of been embedded in me from from kind of speaking to him and and he kind of taught us not to take shortcuts. Um, shortcuts get you not get you nowhere, and that, that kind of comes from him. I think probably just touched on it there, but just to end, any specific advice that he gave you that still sticks with you now? Um, <clears throat> there was an awful lot. Um, he used to always. He used to always say to me that just to keep smiling whenever things weren't going the best. Um, it's not a football advice; it's a it's a more life advice. Because um, listen, football can have a a really bad effect on some people, um, and he kind of seen it in a humanity human way. Um, and he always just said to me, "Keep smiling no matter what happens on the pitch, and that'll stand you in good stead."